Hey there, and thanks for checking out this video tutorial. My name's Chris, and I'm from Tech Coaches. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about installing the Zoom video calling software on a Windows 10 laptop. I like this option because it doesn't require new users sign up for any accounts. All you need is an existing email address, which is free. So let's check it out. How do we get it installed? Step number one is going to be check your email. In this example, I'm going to use Gmail. However, you could be using Yahoo Mail, Outlook, or anything provided by your internet service provider. And what we're looking for is an email from the individual that's trying to connect with us for a video call. I can see here that my colleague has in fact invited me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this link here, and I'm gonna see that in the email itself, there is a blue underlined hyperlink that I can click and that's gonna automatically start the installation of Zoom. So let's do that now. You can see a new website opens by itself. Everything here is automatically happening. I just have to be patient. And I see down here that I have a run button, so I can just push that. Note as well, uh, we only have to do the installation of Zoom this one initial time, and then afterwards our calls in the future will be a little bit easier and a little bit quicker to do. You'll notice I clicked on this icon at the bottom and that brought up the status bar for the installation. So once that reaches 100%, we're good to go. Now that we've downloaded and installed the Zoom software properly, it's gonna ask us a few questions to get things set up. So the first thing I wanna do is enter the name that I would like to be displayed on the screen uh, while I'm in any of these Zoom calls that I'm going to be doing in the future. So for this example, I'll just put in tech coaches, but you might just want to put in your first and last name or even perhaps just your first name if that's what you're most comfortable with. Then I click on join meeting. That should automatically start the software up. I should start to see the people that I'm going to be connecting with. As you can tell, uh, there's an individual behind. We'll get to meet her in a moment. But the first thing I need to do is I have to click on join with computer audio. That's gonna tell my computer to use the microphone and the speakers that are built right in. Uh, I can also go ahead and click on automatically join with audio by computer, and that'll remember this option in the future. After I click on join with computer audio, you should see that message go away, and now we're connected, and you can see my colleague Melinda there, uh, but we don't see my face because I actually haven't shared my camera yet. It still says tech coaches up here at the top of the screen. So I have to go down to the bottom left corner, click on start video, and that should open it up so that I'm connected with Melinda. Hey there. Hi Chris. Awesome. So once we've had our little powwow here and we're all done, I can just go to the bottom right corner and click on leave meeting. Thanks so much, Melinda. See you soon. Bye. After I click that, it asks me to confirm one more time with this second leave meeting button. I simply click that and I'm left back on my internet browser and everything's finished. I'm ready to just close this down.